So, we received an email asking us to explain the precession of an attitude indicator. So, we at Pilot Training Solutions decided to respond with a video that will shed some light on this complicated concept. The problem is that books are static and two-dimensional, so they cannot really explain how the attitude indicator works. Let's take a three-dimensional look at things. The attitude indicator spins at an incredible rate of more than 18,000 rounds per minute. This is accomplished by the vacuum pump that pushes high pressure air through the instrument. The primary purpose of this air is to help spin the gyro, but the secondary and hidden purpose of this air is to help the instrument fight precession. As you probably know, precession is a gyroscopic physical law that says that if you apply a force to a gyro, the gyro will respond with the same force but 90 degrees ahead in the sense of rotation of the gyro. So for example, if we have a spinning bicycle wheel and then we decide to hit the top of the wheel, the wheel will wobble sideways as shown, rather than vertically where we actually applied the force. This is because that force moved 90 degrees in the sense of rotation of that wheel and then was applied. The attitude indicator works with rigidity in space. In other words, the artificial horizon never moves from its original position. It's the airplane that moves around it, as you can see from the animation. You do not notice this on the airplane because your body is moving with the airplane and it looks like the horizon is spinning, but that is obviously not the case. The attitude indicator also has to follow the precession law of gyros, and it actually does, but it fixes itself faster than you can notice by the use of the most basic law in the universe, the law of gravity. If no force is applied to the gyro, the air that spins it exits from the bottom of the instrument through four little holes that are semi-closed by doors called pendulous veins. These doors are free to swing and they do so using the force of gravity. What happens in the attitude indicator is the same as the bicycle wheel we saw earlier. Every time a force is applied to the airplane, the gyro responds with the same force 90 degrees ahead in the same sense of its rotation. So let's say that we pitch the airplane up. This will exert a force on the gyro as shown and that force will move 90 degrees in the sense of the gyro's rotation, in this case counterclockwise, and force the attitude indicator to show a bank. But as the gyro bends, gravity will make the front spinning door open completely and the back door close completely. So the gyro has now a new force applied to it, which also moves 90 degrees counterclockwise and forces the gyro to realign itself with the Earth's surface. As usual, if you have any questions on any aviation topic, please do not hesitate to email us at pts at pilottrainingsolutions.com or just post a comment and we will be glad to shed some light on any doubt you might have. If you're having any problems passing the written test, visit passfaexams.com and download our free demos which will show you how we can easily help you ace the written test. And finally, soon the checkride prep software will be available and that will help you ace the oral and the flight portion of your test as well. Till next time, happy flying and blue skies to all of you.